That doesn't seem to work. It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunting. carved his name on it. Made by Red Skull. Wow. of mass-produced tourist crap. On the bottom it says, Made by Lemonhead. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. This door appears to be locked. Ah, the banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? 
don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Hey, wow, this is impressive. Lemonhead, take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. We should take this to the Great Monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. my banana picker back. But will they give it to me? They want the monkey head key back first. Ha! That'll be the day. Don't you think they're being unreasonable? Hey, thanks. I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. a giant cotton swab. Well, I don't see anything special about it.
Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. I'm looking for 30 dead guys and one woman. I don't think I want to hear any more about it. Wait, maybe he's talking about those dead pirates. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs, wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. So why don't you do that now? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. Where is he hiding it? He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. And then LeChuck came and ruined everything, right? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. LeChuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. I'm off to find the chuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find the chuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without the... Hey, Ixnay on the Edhay of the Avigator Nay. The what? Nothing. Nothing. What's the Edhay of the Avigator Nay? I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... It's called How to Arm Yourself in Sea Battle. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunting. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh, look! I think he likes you. Just follow his nose, and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. 
Then get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. I had a feeling that in hell, there would be mushrooms. wants me to go to the right.
Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Why can't I have it? I've got a bad feeling about this place. I think I might need it. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Maybe I'll just take it. Maybe you'd better not. Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. I don't want to have to hurt you. And I don't want to have to make you regret it. What are you going to do? Bite me? Remember, you need me to get out of this place. If I wanted to, I could strand you here forever. Pretty pretty, please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty please with sugar on top? Oh, all right, you big baby. You can have it. Hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? This feels weird. Strange places, strange noises. Locked tight. Must be something important down there.
It's a vat of cooking grease. Ugh, it's all over my hands. Good, more inventory. Well, I don't see anything special about it. Well, except that big glowing voodoo anti root inside. This should do it. I'll just grab this old root and be on my way. A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. I did it! I got the root! Wow! Look, he's not kidding! Here it is! He's not such a wimp after all! Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root. Wait here, we'll be right back. Nice monkey. There it is. One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. Fan? If you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck. Thanks. After some more furious paddling... Eep! You scared me half to death! Balmy weather we're having, isn't it? It's always like that down here. What happened to the ship? They all left for the wedding. What wedding? But Chuck is marrying the governor of Malay Island. What? But how will they... Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Malay Island. They're headed there. Malay Island? Oh, no. Why are you still here? My head fell into the lava there, and I had to chase after it. When I came back, they had gone. Shame, too. I hate to miss the wedding. I've got to go after them. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. 
Oh, there you are. We've been looking all over for you. Bob! Hi, Bob. Hi, guys. See, Bob, you're looking a little pale. Well, naturally, I'm pale. I am dead, after all. Dead? How did that happen? Oh, the usual way. Out for a day's plunder, ghost ship shows up, LeChuck kills everybody on the crew, and then signs us up on his ship. You know. Gee, that's too bad. Maybe you'd like to join us on our quest for the perfect tan. How did you get in here without using the head? What? Well, well, I mean, that is, you don't seem to have a head, and... What? <laughs> um, never mind. We've got to get back to Melee Island. No kidding. Yeah, we're out of sunscreen. Come on, let's go. See you, Bob. Well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. I wish those guys hadn't been so excited about getting sunscreen. Now I'll have to stop the wedding by myself. Yikes! Hey! Wait a second! Could I interest you in some root beer, sir? Root beer? Oh boy! I love root beer! Cool. Excuse me, do you have an invitation to the wedding? No, but I have this deadly magic root beer. This stuff's great! Watch out, LeChuck! There's a new sheriff in town and his name... Hey, I better get to the church. in blissful matrimony, let him speak now, or forever hold his peace. Stop the wedding! Hey! Who's that? You! Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin! Take what? Are you trying to bribe me? Governor! Governor! Governor? What's going on? Oh, Guybrush, you mad fool! I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? How did you manage to escape? Oh, that was easy. 
But Chucky's a bozo. Hey! And lots of his crew members were friends of mine when they were alive. If you're here, then who's that in the dress? <laughs> what? Oh, don't I scare them! They have my ghost sapping root beer bottle! Oh, I'll get it! Oops. Ugh, nice going, Guybrush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But... I... Uh... Hey! You dared come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity. Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin! You'll never menace decent, tangible pirates again, you billowing bag of... of... of something that begins with B. Uh, now, hold on a minute there, friend. I was only kidding, you know. We can settle this like gentlemen. Oh no! It's jammed! Must be pocket lint. Um, say now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> ah! Son, how's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. A man who knows a good bargain when he... Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. What's that? He sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. Can I buy you a root beer? Sure. There's more at Stan's. Oh gosh, I hope Stan's okay. You know, I completely forgot about Herman Toothrock. Now I wonder where my pirate friend has got to. I certainly hope he didn't leave without me. At least I learned something from all this. What's that?
how to deal with frustration, disappointment, and irritating cynicism. Hmm, that sounds like something my husband would say. Ah, 